Hi, this is a fingerprint lock that fell and broke. Actually, a few pins, if you can see here, are broken and two of the pins are okay. This is because of the fell and this part of the lock is out. So I will try to see if this can be fixed. So I guess that there is a spring here. So oh, the spring fell off. So how the spring should be here, I guess something like this. Yes, this makes sense now. It makes sense that it should be like this. But I'm not sure yet. What should catch this part of the lock? Not very understood to me right now. Ah, okay, I see what should catch the lock. Okay. Okay. Probably the thing that is catching the lock is the part here. This should be something that catches the lock inside. So first I will try to see if it is still working and then I will glue this one with epoxy glue. I think this will be the best. <coughs> Hopefully everything else is working. This is a motor and this is the barrier that catch the lock itself when it is closed. Like right now. So let's see if this is working. Ah. Yes, it is working. So what is need to do in order to fix it is very simple. Catch it inside the way I did now. Apply epoxy glue and then close it and then it will be okay, hopefully. Now the thing is to try to understand the direction of the cover. So the direction of the cover, I think it should be like this. In order to catch this part and to catch the other part here, yes. It should be like this when I'm closing it. So, in order to do it in the correct way, if you are applying epoxy, you need to be very gentle because if the epoxy will touch one of the moving parts, then you can, uh, you can take it and throw it to garbage. Okay, so I will try to do it. So, first thing with epoxy is, of course, to close it back <laughs> so you can use it ah. so we will be able to use it again this seems amazing have also direction for closing okay so now we will do the mixing it took a very huge amount of glue and you have to be very gentle maybe I will try to use okay I will use the screwdriver but very 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 gently what I will do is apply glue uh, of course to the four places that the pin was broken By the way, this is a 5 seconds epoxy. 5 minutes, sorry, not 5 seconds. There is no such a thing, 5 seconds. Uh, ok, 
Okay, here on the moving part you have to be very gentle because again if it will uh, catch one of the moving parts then there is no reason to use it again. So I incline and try to zoom a little. Very gently where I can. You can also apply some here because you want all four part of the rectangle but very easy to be catch well when closing it. Okay. I think that this should be enough to close it. Okay, now I will close it as I think it should be. I think it should be like this. Hopefully. Now because epoxy will take 5 minutes, in the meantime, I suggest to flip it so it will not uh, move to the moving part and also uh, do it like this for a little time and if you want it to be a little stronger you can apply a little epoxy when it is closed between the two parts of the metal so it will be much harder while it is closed now this way there is no reason that it will move inside to the moving part because it is almost fully sealed okay and i think that this should do the work almost sure about it and here you was able to fix your fingerprint lock by the way this is a pretty cheap lock it costs about uh, between 20 to 30 bucks US dollars I mean and it is doing the work quite well no need a phone for setup it's an easy setup and it is working so now I will wait for tomorrow and then oh, sorry about the zoom okay and then I will retest it Hopefully this is helpful for anything, for any one of you that, uh, by the way, it was, uh, it fell and then it broke. So it is not the best lock, but for the price and uh, for uh, the reasons that the battery can work uh, for full one year without charging it, if you are using it a few times a day, I think it's worth the price. I will put a link in the description where to buy it and hope it will help any one of you. Thank you and bye.